Okay, everybody, this is going to be a shipping video. Um, shipping out my leopard geckos today. I have the slip already done. I have my little containers there. I have my box all ready to go. And my heat pack heating up. It's now 2 o'clock and they're going to be delivered at about 4. So I'm getting started a little bit early. I've also got some packing peanuts in there if I need them in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get the geckos separated and uh, in these little tubs here. So that way uh, we can get everything started. So I'm going to put the uh, a little bundle up piece of paper towel in there as well for some cushion and uh, a little bit of humidity and uh, start this whole thing started. And it's going to be these four right in here. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I've got them all boxed up. And boy, they gained weight quick. Uh, these delis might be a little bit too small for them, but uh, I think they'll be just fine. This one's definitely a boy. And. This one is possibly a boy, but boy they gained weight. Also possibly a boy, and this one I can't see. This one was the smallest one, and look how fat. Got big off of them mealworms, didn't you buddies? Yeah. So, basically I have them all separated in their little things. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to do a test run. Just uh, to make sure that there's enough space in here for them all four, which uh, almost certainly is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I had six geckos sent to me in this box. Yeah. Six from Kelly at Hiss, and they were using those really tall ones in there, so I know there's room. I just like to double check. Now, the heat pack, I'm going to be taping to the box right there, and um, I'm going to be putting some more newspaper in front of it. I don't think I'll need any packing peanuts, I don't think this is going to move. They're in there pretty secure. But this is going to be all scrunched up like this. And some more. Okay. So I think they're going to be just fine. And uh, what I will do is I will take this heat pack. It's starting to get warm now. And I'm going to take it to this end of the box right there. And uh, put some newspaper in front of it. Just so it gets warm in there. And uh, put the lid on, close it up, and get them ready to go. Um, I'm going to try to find a marker just so I can mark them on there. I lost all my records and uh, the power outage, unfortunately. Uh, if you guys know me, I kept detailed records and all my little tags were messed up. They were all circulated around, all these little tags uh, that had their hatch date, what they are incubated at. And... Uh, the date that they were laid, I, um, yeah, lost all of it. And whenever I had to move them, uh, the babies, since I didn't take this four-quart thing with me, all the babies were mixed up, and I lost all but that one tag. As you can see, I found the tags for all the ones that are easily identifiable. So... All I can say is that they were hatched between um, August and October. And uh, as you can see, I still have some of the heat packs taped back here from back whenever the power outage was really bad. But uh, anyway, Wendy, if you're watching this. Uh, which I will send you a link to it whenever we're done. Um, you can see I got your babies all packed up today. And uh, 
And I got my room in here because I don't need this little rack. Uh, I'll probably move the little ones from here over to here, like this little one in here, who I just moved over temporarily. And I think I got two more over there. I'll move into these just so it's easier to care for them. And these guys aren't all scrunched up. And those two down there, my after and raptor. Uh, that way I can get them a bigger tub. But uh, anyway, I uh, will get these guys all packed up. And uh, I think they'll be just fine the way that it is. But I uh, hate to see these little guys go. I really do. This is my first time shipping, and I just really hate to see them go. I'm going to miss them a lot, but um, I know they're going to a good place, and hopefully after they go there, I don't know, She, I think she's selling them in her store, so hopefully they will prosper and uh, get good homes. So here in a minute, I will try ha adding the heat pack and getting the rest of this packed and uh, include you guys in. Okay, I've got the... Uh, Heat pack in there as you can see. I just got a little piece of paper towel that's going to cover it. It's right there. And I got the little nest right here made. So, uh, I guess let's, uh, God, this is hard to do. I guess let's get this started. Um, here's the first one. Got like the little horseshoe on its head. I don't know how well you can see it there. It's got the little O face right behind it with the two dots and then the big one. So this one. Going to get first. Okay. And this one. It's got the good horseshoe on its head. If I remember right, I think this one was number one and six. I'm sorry, I had a double pictures posted. But you did want six, so it's the same gecko. Um, nice little dots going down the back of the head and then nothing in the body. However, a lot of these are starting to show up, at least on camera, whenever you take a picture. A lateral orange stripe going down both, so that would be cool. They were um, red stripes as well, which is in this line, so could be. got the biggest one the one that has that little at symbol on its head which you can see really good there and just faint spotting this one gained a lot of weight um, really surprised this is probably one of the uh, earliest hatching hatchlings uh, I would say this one's probably the oldest one that's being sent um, I'm also going to take these legs and uh, last but not least, the other one right here. Get this one shipped in there too. So, okay. And I have them all in here. I put some pecking peanuts in there as well just to keep them from moving around. And uh, God. Trying not to be a big baby about all this. Harder than I thought it would be. See how babies go. Anyway, uh, get all this in here. Get this lid on here like so. Then it'll be ready for my invoice and business cards and label and that is as solid as can be not going anywhere so uh that's going to be about it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will get this all taped up and ready to go see you later bye